Hey guys, this is You Versus Them. This is for October 31st through November the 8th. I am going to use two different decks, of course, as usual. We have the Spellcasters Tarot here that I'm using for you. And just with your reading, I the name of this other deck that I'm using has come to mind. And this is a Steampunk Tarot. Um, my favorite deck, my next favorite deck. So let's go ahead and get it started. If you guys are interested in a personal, of course, you can visit the website and check those readings out there, okay? So let's see what our Capricorn's thoughts about this relationship with this person, this past connection even. Capricorn's feelings about the connection with this person. What are Capricorn's feelings? This one wanted to jump. You love this person. You love them, but there's something in you that makes you feel like maybe it was a little one-sided. Like you possibly love this person more than they loved you. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here. What is the other person's feelings about the relationship? Other person's feelings about the relationship. Why is that upside down? Two of Cups there, but it's in reverse. Um, this person felt like, sorry, cancer energy here. Um, wow. They felt the same way. Because when you go back from Two of Cups, of course, that's, that's the Ace. They felt the same way. Um, like maybe you guys had fallen out of love with them. Or maybe you have fallen out of love with them. Some of you are still with this person. But um, they feel the same way that you feel. Like they have more love for you than you actually have for them. Hmm. What's currently happening for Capricorn? What's currently happening for Capricorns? With Six of Wands here, you're waiting for recognition. Are you waiting for recognition from this person? Or are you ready to start dating again and and wanting to feel like, you know, you're, you still got it, you know? Quite possibly here. What is this that fell out? King of Pentacles. You want to know that you still got it. That's you. Hmm. What's currently going on for the other person? Leo energy with that six of wands. What's currently going on with the other person? The star. Huh. The star is looking right at this two of cups in reverse. I feel like this person still feels like you guys are the one. For them, oh, your ass definitely still has it. Okay, so if you guys are thinking about like going out and dating, you know, if you feel like this person's not for you, that's all cool. That's, you know, it's cool beans. But if you feel like this person does not love you anymore, that's not the truth. This person still feels like you're the one, you're their soulmate, that you guys belong together. But for some reason, um, they feel like there's unrequited love here. Like, their love is not being returned, just like you feel that way. But I don't feel like this person is at the point where they are um, wanting to date. I think you are getting to that point. You're really thinking about it. What's influencing this situation with Capricorn? The stars, of course, Aquarius energy. What's influencing this situation with Capricorn? Look at this. And then all these cards flip out, but I see the King of Pentacles right there. I think you definitely want to be in a situation that you're comfortable in, that you feel supported in, okay? And and feeling like, you know, somebody really being comfortable and secure in the fact that somebody really genuinely cares and loves you. They care for you and they love you. They want to be there for you in every way and I think that is what you're looking for because you feel like you didn't get it or you're not getting it here. What's influencing the situation with Capricorn? The Nine of Cups, you want to be happy. 
you want to be happy. Some of you guys are looking to be single at this point. Um, but I'm getting you want to be single because you feel like being with this person, you're not getting everything that you need. So you're not totally happy with the Ten of Cups energy. You're not totally happy and fulfilled. And so you're, you're looking to fulfill um, something in you as a single person. Because I'm feeling like I refuse to be with someone and not totally getting what it is that I need out of a relationship, excuse me. And so at this point, I feel you guys, you know, looking out for you, looking out for self. Why do you want to be with someone just to say that you're with someone? And I'm feeling like this coming from you. Piscean energy there. What's influencing the other person? What's influencing the other person? King of Cups. I feel like this person definitely is in their feelings. I feel like this is a very sensitive individual here. Pisces, Cancer energy. Very sensitive. Um, very in touch with their emotions. I feel like this person definitely loves you. I feel like this person like feels a separation. You know, if you guys are still together, they feel like this separation between you. They feel like this void that's between you guys. Um, and they feel like you're not on the same page. You're not getting along. But they still are so present here for you, if that makes sense. Even if you're not with this person, this person is still here for you. What's coming in for Capricorn? What's coming in for... Okay, a lot of cars keep wanting to flip out for you. And I saw the Knight of Swords there. Like, speaking your peace. What's coming in for... Okay, look at this. This King of Pentacles. Three times. Three times. What's coming in for you? This could be a same-sex relationship or either both of you are just in your masculine energy and in a very controlled space. I definitely get that there is a water energy here present for you guys. Um, if it's not their star sign, their sun sign rather, um, they have water very heavily, I feel, in their chart. But what's coming in for you, I feel, is being in control of your emotions um, still. But I see you like really gaining the support that you need, um, whether it's with this person or by yourself. Um, I see you guys being there for this person, whatever they need though. For some reason I'm feeling like feeling like you guys are still like on this this friendship level where you can like be around each other and act like adults would without even being together. Again, some of you are still in the home with this person and there's like this this space between you. This unseen space. But it's noticeable in your home. One of you may be in, you know, the front of the house and the other one may be in the back of the house. And that's how you guys coexist without even like really like enmeshing together. But I still see you guys being there for this person. I see you doing what you need to do, though. If it's throwing yourselves into work, I see you doing that. Um, I, I think you're trying to coexist with this person whether you're with them or not. You guys may even work together. Okay. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? Page of Swords. This person's holding back. I feel like the Page of Swords does not speak a lot. They are mostly observing things and kind of playing things over in their head, trying to figure out their next move, what to do. 
and I don't see this person bringing you in on what it is that they necessarily want or how they feel. Um, I see them kind of taking a back seat and trying to like really get out of their emotions and think logically about the situation. I do feel like a lot of you again are coexisting with this person, whether you live with this person, work with this person, or <laughs> are just in the same circle of friends with this person. Um, I definitely see that there is a, a distance between the two of you. What is the outcome here for Capricorn? Outcome for Capricorn. Oh, the tower. Mm. Just coexisting is not going to work for long. Just coexisting. If you live with this person, I do see a breakup on the horizon for some of you. Um, if you're not living with this person and you just like you work with them or you have the same circle of friends, I see a blow up on the horizon. Just shit just kind of like falling to pieces, um, get into an argument with this person. Just um, something shocking. Moving out of the home even for some of you. <clears throat> Scorpio energy there. What is the outcome for the other person? What is the outcome for the other person? Oh, the sign. This tower could also be, if this is relating to this person, it could be if you guys are not together and you just like, you know, you see each other and you're cordial with each other. Um, this could be you guys actually finding out that this person really does love you and you guys getting back together because this is like some shocking shit that goes on here because I see both of you are feeling the same way about each other that maybe you know the other one doesn't love you or vice versa I see this person thinking about their happiness how to get their happiness awakening to something with the tower and the sun it's like egos are coming down maybe there's an open conversation here about you making this person happy this coming from them because I see they're more emo emotional than you are but that the fact that you guys make them happy that they really do love you And so everything that you thought about this person, you know, that just crumbles to pieces. And you realize that, you know what, both of you were thinking these things about each other. They were totally wrong. And then you guys end up being happy together. You know, that is a possibility here for some of you. That is definitely a possibility for some of you. For some of you guys, I see that this person is removing themselves from your life because they feel like um, whatever's been going on, even though it doesn't seem to bother them, it bothers them. And they just like either quit the job, um, leave the house, move out, or like kind of block you guys in a sense because just having that interaction with you um, it is really messing with them. Because they, I see them trying to figure out what truly makes them happy. But what makes them, <coughs> excuse me, what makes them ha happy may not necessarily make you happy. And you may have felt like everything was all good with them. And then when they make these changes, it just kind of like shatters, you know, what you thought were, was true, you know. So, Leo energy there. Um, that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.